Hey, Dad, dinner ready? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Would you tell the other kids, please? Sure. Hey, everybody, dinner's ready! Yang, get your butts down here! I meant for you to go upstairs and tell them. Why? They can hear me from here. <sighs> Sorry, things got really backed up in the beauty salon. The oh, Frank, thank you for making dinner. Anytime. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> JT, you better find out what everybody wants to drink. Hey, everybody, what do you guys want to drink? Ginger ale! Ice! No! Diet Coke! Ice! Yeah. Lemon! No, just ice. JT, eat. One second, Dad. Dana, Mark, what do you guys want to drink? No! What? JT! Dad, I'm right here. You don't have to scream. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm so tired of this. All you guys ever do around here is scream. Yeah, I haven't heard this much screaming since JT walked in on Grandma in the shower. Please, I don't like reliving that. <laughs> okay, new rule. From now on, there is no screaming in this house. Got it? Sure, Dad. Got it, Dad. Good. Hey, forget the ginger ale. I want root beer. <laughs> Shut up, Al! Did you just hear Dad? We're not allowed to scream anymore! <laughs> Get your red hot mail. That's it. Grab your postals while they're hot, huh? <laughs> Uh, Cody, why are you all dressed up like a mailman? Oh, you noticed. <laughs> cool. yeah. uh, well, interesting story, Uncle Frank. I went out this morning to pull sweet potatoes for old Mrs. Cudahy. You know that old lady that's always bending over in her garden and everybody wishes she wouldn't? <laughs> anyway, I'm out there yanking her yams. When I see this postal dude getting a tussle with this mangy mongrel. So... I spring into action, pry off the pooch, and replace the divot in the mailman's butt. <laughs> anyway, the guy decides to quit the postal biz and give me this really cool outfit. <laughs> so am I styling or what? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> hey, check this out. The Monument Bank just sent me a credit card. Hey, check this out. I'm taking it away from you. <laughs> Why? Oh, come on, JT. Giving a teenager a credit card is like Giving a baby a jock strap. <laughs> They're not ready for it yet? Dad, I'm 18 years old. I think I can handle a credit card. Okay. I can see this is one of those lessons you're gonna have to learn all on your own. Like looking for snakes before you pee in the woods. <laughs> okay. But I'm warning you. You are going to end up buying a lot of junk and running up a huge bill before you know it. Man, why don't parents ever trust us kids? I mean, it's like they think we don't even have a brain or something. <laughs> yeah, go figure. <laughs> This is one of those days I love being in construction. Yeah, what was that? Well, because it rained all day and we sat around playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have some news that will make you feel even better. Oh, yeah? Brendan joined the school band. Oh, no, not the band. Why? What's wrong with that, Frank? Well, nothing if you've got talent, honey, but he's a Lambert. <laughs> We're musical morons. I ain't sure. We're good-looking, athletic, and incredible lovers, but we can't carry a tune in a scoop show. Well, maybe Brenda will be the first Lambert who's a musical genius. Hey, Daddy! Listen to this. <laughs> well, genius takes time, Frank. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go practice. Thanks for making me join the band, Carol. You made him join the band? No, I didn't make him, exactly. I 
sort of suggested. Okay, I made them. <laughs> Ah, the mighty Sunday, huh? <laughs> the dean of desserts, the king of confections, the sultan of sweets. You want one? Yeah, no way, man. That stuff will rot the teeth right out of your head. <laughs> Whoa, man. Chocolate mint chip fudge Kahlua ripple. <sighs> wow. Carol sprung for the El Primo ice cream, oh, huh? She didn't. Mom's on this health food kick. She said if we want any junk food, we're going to have to buy it ourselves. Hey! Get your hands off my chocolate syrup. I bought that with my own money. Yeah, give me back my whipped cream. Look, I know these are your toppings, but I'm trying to make a sundae. How do you guys feel about sharing? Well, how do you feel about bleeding? <laughs> Whoa, step dudes at war, huh? You know, my philosophy's always been about sharing. Like, hey, dig it, man. If it's in my van, it doesn't have a choke chain on it, dig right in. <laughs> uh, Cody, I've looked in your refrigerator, and I don't recall anything that would taste good on ice cream. Are you kidding me, man? I got homemade spam jerky out there. <laughs> That's an all-day chew. <laughs> Dad, man, I'm really worried about Cody. He's out there trying to put a TV antenna on his van in the middle of this storm. I'm afraid he's going to get hit by lightning. <laughs> Relax, son. See, Cody's already been hit by lightning, and it happened right out there in the backyard. I mean, what do you think the odds are of a guy getting struck by lightning two times in exactly the same spot? Are you all right? Yeah, Cody, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just got two questions for you guys. Where am I? Why do you guys keep calling me Cody? My name is... My name... My name is... Dude. Hey, you guys. Killer news. You're not going to believe this. I'm getting in the Guinness Book of World Records. I have created a freak of nature. So did your mother. God, <laughs> oh, you're such a kidder. <laughs> so what are you getting in for? Oh, dude, I'm carving the world's largest jack-o'-lantern. Come on outside, you gotta check out my gourd. This is what my life is coming to, checking out Cody's gourd. <laughs> Careful with that forklift, bro. You know, that thing gets away from you. It can take out a whole city block. <laughs> Whoa, that thing's humongous. Yeah. Cody, where did you get this mutant pumpkin? Oh, man, the code man's always got a few tricks up his sleeve. That chicken burrito. <laughs> I'll just save that for later. OK, you can leave it right here, bro. You know, if you want to get the world's largest jack o' lantern, you got to start out with the world's largest pumpkin. So, uh, I've been growing this one out at Fuzzy Beal's farm. How'd you get it so big? Oh, easy, man. I just employed a few ancient gardening techniques, you know? Like, played classical music to it, and I blessed the soil, right? And I just danced around saying, grow, pumpkin, grow. You know, Cody, from now on, whenever I think of you, I'll just picture an overgrown vegetable. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Thanks for organizing the study group, Dana. I'm just glad it's a quiet day around here. <laughs> hey, yo, dude. Check out my new cheese hat, man, my air horn. I got it for the football games at school. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Cody, um, would you please get your air horn and your cheese head out of here? Okay, this is a study group. Whoa. The Dana Burger and the Brainiacs, huh? <laughs> 
Hey, wow, that'd be a pretty cool name for a band. You guys should, like, go on tour, like, trash a bunch of motel rooms. <laughs> Cody, uh, we're trying to study for a test. Yeah, well, I didn't mean, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys studying? Uh, philosophy. Get out of here. I'm in that class, too. <laughs> we know. It's hard to miss someone waving his arms and screaming, Professor, dude, I'm all over this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dana, I got a killer idea. Why don't you let me in your study group? <laughs> Cody, uh, you know, that would be a slice of heaven, but <laughs> unfortunately, we are full. I can put you on the waiting list, though. Righteous. Hey. And to show you how much I appreciate that, I'm gonna let you wear my cheese hat. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Now you're the Dana Burger with cheese. <laughs> Find out soon enough. Oh, they won't even tell you what the meeting's about. You know it's got to be bad. Shh. Yeah, I can feel it. We're gonna get hosed. Just sit, sit down, sit down. Here, here go. Give me that. Come on, son. Give me that. Hey, Einstein. Give me that. Oh, you look fine. You look just fine. Okay. All right. Now, everybody, Carol and I have something very important to tell you. Tell them, honey. Well. I know that this is going to come as a bit of a surprise, but I really think that you will all be thrilled. <laughs> Frank and I are going to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs>